<laughs> hey, hey there guys, it's your boy, Lord Dirkwalk, and I'm coming here today with just a very simple tutorial on how to solo the Easter event. As far as I know, whatever you're seeing in this video, today, which is Monday, is the last day to do this. As far as I know, this is the last day. So I just want to give you a quick guide on how to do it. I'm a lightning user, but I'm pretty sure you could do this with Magu or any fruit that has some type of stationary move that can aim really far down. And the reason I say stationary is because you can you can practically AFK solo this. Practically just AFK it. Now, you can not just AFK it, which I will explain the two ways. Okay. First the AFK. As you guys can see, I don't know if you can tell from my screen. Let me double check my OBS. You probably, no, you can't see it. Well, you can't see it, but I actually have tiny tasks. I recommend getting tiny tasks and just um, you know, if you know how to use tiny tasks, you know how to set up a recorder. So just record your moves. Activate tiny task. I recommend using lightning, but as I said, you can use Magu. Uh, literally, just sit here on top of this rainbow. The reason I say rainbow, and you're going to want to choose rainbow. Listen, it's very important. You you get on top of the rainbow. Yes, the clouds themselves, as you can see right here, these clouds are tall. Yes, but once you get to wave twenty and up, the venom user can hit you on the clouds, and the gun users can kill you on the clouds. You want to get on this rainbow. All right, you want to get right up here on this rainbow, and then what you're going to want to do is with any move that's stationary, that doesn't make you inch forward or anything like that, you're going to want to activate your tiny task, and boom, look, the enemies will walk right here. Ignore that, <laughs> ignore that bozo over there, bro. Enemies, when they spawn in, they come right here. Listen very closely to what I'm saying. All right, let me do it. So basically, all enemies, when they spawn in, will walk right over here as you can see it's wave six i already started my AFK. they'll walk right under you no problem and all you have to do is afk and just have your attack shoot straight down now let me tell you this if you're afk and this is only for afkers just so you know it's ahead of time for afkers at round 20 after round 20 for five rounds so from round for well, five, yeah, five rounds for five rounds from wave 21 to wave 26 for wave 21 to 26 enemies do not move and what i mean by that is i don't mean walk up to them and say hi to your friendly little neighbors no they will bust a cap into you and you will die what i mean is they don't come here with your nice little afk on top of the rainbow and being gay they don't walk to your rainbow they don't be gay with you they just stay where they spawn at so what you can do for idiots like Bozo Boy over here. Now, he's this not wave, obviously, as you can tell, it's not wave 21. But he just, for some reason, didn't decide to walk over here. But he's a perfect example of what wave 21 bots will do. They will just stand still. So what you're going to want to do is don't get close. As I said, if you have a ranged move, aim that B word. Look at that, bro. You see that? And you just aim it. I, I see that he's moving now, but as I said... This is specifically for round 26. It's not 20, not 26, round 21. Let me correct myself. This is specifically for round 21. All you have to do is for people who stand still, aim your moves down, and it will kill them. I know he's not dead. That's because he has health, and I don't have the DPS for it. Uh, but literally, so for, as it listen very closely, as I said, from wave 21 to 26, Enemies are gonna spawn in whether they spawn in right here spawn it. Wait, let me let me not not my let me use not use my hand whether they spawn in right here Right here or right here They're not gonna move no matter where they spawn in. They're not gonna move from wave again from wave 21 to 26 They're not gonna move so basically what I'm saying is when wave 21 starts wherever they spawn they're not going to move from that location. All right. And wave 26, once that wave starts, that's when they start moving again. It doesn't mean they're not going to bust a cap into you. So when wave 26 starts, make sure if you're the guy who's AFKing, you get up here as soon as possible. You're going to want to get on top of this rainbow as soon as possible so they don't light your gay ass up. All right. You don't want to die. All right. So then once you're on top of the rainbow, um, again, you just set your tiny task, activate it again. And since it's wave 26, all the enemies will just come shoot. It will just come to you again uh, like they, they would in the beginning. Like this dummy right here. They're just going to come to you from wave 26 and up. And you just aim down. And you shoot and you kill. 
this can, depending on your fruit and what level you are, this can take from, I could say, an hour to an hour and 30 minutes to two hours. Again, this all depends on your fruit level. You know, it all depends on that. Um, I'm using lightning. I could say it averages me like an hour to do this by myself, like an hour, 20 minutes. Um, cause I'm not that high level. If you want to see my stats, here they are. Hold on. Okay. You can't see stats here, but they're not high. Okay. It just takes me like an hour, an hour, 20 minutes. But yeah, that's for people who want to AFK. All you gotta do is get a tiny task. Make sure your fruit has stationary moves. Look, look very closely. Look at my character. See that? He didn't, he, he threw his hand up. He did not move a single inch. Look, throwing Rigo. Rigo hits the ground. Did not move a single inch. You want stationary moves. If you're AFKing, you don't want a move that can literally knock you off because you're tiptoeing off your rainbow. You don't want that. So unless you got lightning or magu, I don't know any other fruits that are stationary. I think Ope, uh, Operation Fruit, is stationary because they have to just put the bubble in the map. So you can use Ope too. Just any stationary fruit that allows you to do attacks without inching off your rainbow. Now for the people who are using Phoenix, um fire pika you know you aren't stationary your moves are inching you forward inch by inch and you're gonna fall off that rainbow you're not gonna be able to afk it's so simple basically what you want to do with your fruit is you want to make sure that all your attacks are this high you got to make sure they're as high as this rainbow all right see this rainbow you want to be as high as the rainbow from here to here that's how high you want to be if you don't see numbers popping up, like damage numbers from hitting them, it doesn't mean you're not hitting them. You're just too high up to see the numbers. But trust me, you're doing damage. So don't be stupid and go say hi, because they're not going to say hi back. They're just going to kill you. So, as I said, if you're using any fruit that does knock you off this rainbow, you're one of just going to want to jump or fly in this rainbow's height and just aim down. It's as simple as that. And as I said before, on wave 21 to 26, they're going to spawn in and just stand still. You're going to just want to jump around really high up and just aim down on their different spawn locations, which is right here, right here, and right here. These are their only spawn locations, right here, right here, right here. So from 21 to 26, make sure that you just kill them. They're really easy, actually. Like, I'm not kidding you. They get two-shotted by me. Uh, and depending on what fruit damage your level you are, they you will most likely two-shot them. Like, they're really easy to kill. Just not really easy to not die to. They really strong bullets. Let's just say that. But that's how you solo. It's really easy, really simple. You can AFK it. Or you can actively play it. Either way you can. But you can solo it. All you have to do is just be really high up. I, As I said, the rainbow is the highest thing here, as you can tell. Literally the highest thing. You're going to want to be rainbow height if you're not AFK. And if you are AFK, you want to be right on top of it. Set up your tiny task. Aim straight down. They're going to come right after you. Boom, watch this. Lightning strike with the might of Zeus, bro. Spanking this guy. Look, we hit him with the Rigo. And he's probably dead after this Rigo, actually. Yeah, and he's dead. And that's it. Look, and I'm going to show you. Look, I'm going to show you guys. They're going to walk to me. You see? Look, they spawn. Okay, look. And you thought they were standing still? No. Look, my tiny task is just going off for me. I don't have to touch my keyboard. I can lay in my bed and beat off the two gorillas having a death match. Look, they just walk right here and they die. But as I said, Round 21 to 26, they do not move. When 26 starts, they'll start moving. But besides that, they don't move. Um, if you don't want to die to Venom Dragon, Venom Dragon, you know, the Wave 20 boss, please, get, get on the gay. Get on the gay. That's all I say. Get on the gay if you don't want to die to that guy. If you don't want to die to any of the bosses. To the guns. Get on the gay. But besides that, that is how you solo. I hope I explained it clearly. Just rewatch it if you didn't understand anything. But besides that, you take care. Also, wait, wait. One last thing. Very important. As far as I know, you cannot get this sword. You cannot get the Easter sword if you already have a sword equipped. So before you do the raid, get rid of your three sword style. Get rid of your bicento. Whatever you do, get rid of it because you cannot get this sword if you already have another sword. But besides that, you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Drop a like, subscribe, and my Discord's in the description if you ever want to check out my live stream or other Roblox videos. Besides that, goodbye.